I really love the outcome of this dress. It's so beautiful, just as I imagined it. And I'm glad to be teaching you how to achieve yours as well. Let's go. Hello. My name is Priska Osegali of Gold Imperial Academy. How are you doing? Hope you are doing very well. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for your support, your likes, your shares on all our videos. Today, we are continuing with the last class that we had where we did the dart manipulation on our pattern we have cut on fabric and here we are we are about to start stitching so before we go ahead please if you are yet to subscribe you know what to do please go ahead right now just pause go and subscribe right now and then make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you will not be left out whenever we upload new videos so i am using this lovely chiffon fabric like i said in the last class and i'm really loving this okay so i have gone ahead to cut the lining the fusible interfacing and i have also attached all of that so i have the back right here and i have the front right here these are the bands okay i'm using a contrasting color okay you can see that the color is also on the fabric so i thought to use that just to add some pizzazz to the garment okay so now we are starting with attaching the linings okay then we'll attach all the fabric there are two ways to do this you can either attach all of your linings together and then attach all of your fashion fabric together and couple everything together or you attach each lining piece to the fabric piece okay so it all depends on the kind of finishing that you want all right this garment is going to have a pocket so i have put that into consideration as i was cutting the bottom of the dress so let's go ahead now we're going to be attaching all of the lining and give it a good press please and please and please do not sew without ironing i need to put a loudspeaker to this please please it makes your work tacky so each time you are working please make sure you iron okay please and please and please do all you can to iron all right so we are going ahead now to attach all of our lining all right here we are all the parts have been fully lined okay so i have a circle as my sleeve i have made it as a high low okay because of the shoulder point and also the underarm okay so if you would need me to do a tutorial on how i achieve this you can let me know okay you can see it is not equal the sides are not equal okay but i have used the concept of the circle to achieve this and i have attached my lining to the other parts of the fabric okay all right remember i'm using a contrasting color which is also on my fabric right here so i have decided to attach my lining to the fabric to give it some form of support because this is a sheer fabric okay so i have decided to attach my lining to my fabric as against lining to lining fabric to fabric which i wanted to do earlier all right so these are the back pieces okay and these are the front pieces i'm going to trim off all of this okay so that we can have it all nice and good and these are the bands all the linings attached okay so i have my bands right here okay you can see even with the lining attached to it you can still see the fabric is still moving around all right that's fine when we attach everything together it's going to be all nice and firm so right now i'm going to attach the bands okay so i will attach the band i would like to quickly show you how i am going to attach the bands okay so i'm going to pin this together okay just use a pin to secure it all right i would place the right side of the band to the right side of the back piece of the garment like so okay and then i would flip my band over like so okay sandwiching the back 
into the band like this and then stitch so i'm going to hold everything down with a pin to secure it and then i would stitch everything All right, so here you are. All right, I've done this. I'm going to do the same for all the other pieces. I'm going to do the same for the other side of the back and also do the same for the front. All right, so when I sew, I'm going to sew like this. Okay, so after stitching this, I'll have it this way with a neat finishing on the inside. So it's going to look like this when I'm done stitching. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So right now I'm going to fix the band on all the other pieces and also stitch everything together, giving it a good press and then come back to show you. So now the bands have been attached. Okay, so these are the back pieces and I've also ironed the zipper allowance. For the front, you would have to sew it as if you are sewing a sweetheart neckline. You know how you would sew that part that looks like the V that means that you would have to follow the shape of the band as you are attaching the front pieces to the band hope we get that so you follow the shape of the band to attach the bodies to the band that is how you would attach the band to the bodies when you are sewing okay all right, so I'm done attaching the zipper. I'm going to be tucking this in. Now I want to show you how to attach the shoulder of the front to the back. So this is the front, okay? This is the front. So you place like this, right side facing right side, okay? So this is my right side. This is the wrong side. The side carrying the lining is the wrong side. So you place like this okay you place it like this all right i'm going to trim this off before i go ahead and attach so you place like this right side facing right side and then you sandwich the front in between the fabric of the back piece and the lining so you sandwich like this okay and then you stitch okay so you can use your pin to hold everything together and take it to your sewing machine and so so let me go over that again this is the front piece while the side carrying the zipper is the back piece so you place the right side of the front piece facing the right side of the back piece and then sandwich the front in between the fabric and the lining like i am doing like this Okay, I hope you can see this clearly. Hold it in place with pins and then take it to your sewing machine and sew. So I'm gonna do that for both sides of the garment. So I'm taking it to my sewing machine now and I'm going to be sewing. So remember to trim off if you have something like this. I'll be trimming this off before I go ahead and attach. All right, so here it is, you can see is neat and well finished i have attached the shoulder of the garments so now we're going to go ahead attach the side and then we will attach the half circle to the bodies of the garments attach the sleeves and we are done so remember that i'm using a circle as the sleeve i have used the concept of the high low for the sleeve of this dress so i can't wait to show you the finished product i'll do all the attaching that needs to be done and then show this off on my body form